Hello Taurus, welcome to your mini mid-month reading. This is for May 2022 mid-month. We also have a full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio on the 16th. Mercury's retrograde, it's all going on. I'm just spying on the street. Okay. Someone going into the hotel who can't use the keypad properly. Lots, this happens to lots of people. Lots of people always wandering outside on the street who can't get in. Okay, what do we need to know? This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ooh, or if you're cross-watching for a Taurus, that's all good. Oh, Ooh. okay, doing a little dance for that card. Taurus, you've got a lot of healing with this full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio, which you would have because I'm not an astrologer, but I know that there's an axis and you're an opposite sign to Scorpio. So you are also experiencing like an 18 month eclipse season. It's my eclipse season mine. Um, so you're going to feel it. You feel it like Scorpio would feel it, but you're not Scorpio. I know we have as your well at the top of the reading we've got the ten of swords in reverse when you get the ten of swords in reverse it is a card of healing believe it or not because it doesn't exactly look like one does it just looks like someone who's really dead with ten swords stuck in their back oozing blood onto some snow you're like come on Gemma don't glitter the turd <laughs> like, shling I'm not glittering the turd, okay? Because you also have a ten of cups, so there. And it matches my jumper. Look at that. Matches my jumper. Ming. Um, if you watch my dailies, and do watch my dailies, and also sign up for my new newsletter, it's down in the description box below. I finally learnt how to do a newsletter, so I've done one. Um, then you'll know, if you watch my dailies, that I pull two tens together very very often healing and love okay healing and love i'm also noticing in these mini readings that there are opposites in and out split up get back together healing love all of those things something about this let's have a flipping a flipping let's have a flipping look at your cards I'm just going to flip the camera is what I was trying to say. Mercury's retrograde while I'm making these readings. So honestly, the crazy is high. The crazy is high. Leave me a comment and let me know if the crazy is high for you too. We've got a full moon here and it's in the reverse. And when you've got a full moon in the reverse, the universe wants you to soak up these kind of answers. It's taking away the mystery of the full moon and it's just turning it into sense. So it's like a reality check. What hurt you and what makes you stronger? What you should leave behind and what you move towards? The nasty and the good, okay? Five of wands in reverse. You want the five of wands to be in reverse because when you get the five of wands, it's like a cluster of stress and uh, and kind of oh god what fresh hell is this parking tickets and losing your purse and all that kind of stuff but also it's something demystified when you get the five of wands you can't really see the wood for the trees you know it's that in the in the thicket like this like uh, uh, i can't stand this anymore and this releases you from that I feel like for you, there's going to be some realizations, but they're not entirely clear, probably until the 3rd of June when Mercury goes direct. We've got the hanged man energy here. Be in that hanged man energy. Hanged man energy is, it's an energy to kind of revere, you know, it's um, Neptune energy. It's when the universe says to you, look, we're going to give you the answers. They're going to drop in like a penny dropping into the water. They're going to float up like dreams and visions. You're going to know, but don't act on it yet. You don't need to act on it yet. We'll just keep you in the spiritual know, and you can just have it just wobbling around in the ether. When the time is right to act, I will tell you. Some of you are dealing with a water, uh, water, oh, some of you are dealing with a water sign then. 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, stuff it. That's the thing, isn't it? As Freud would say, he'd probably say stuff it as well. Um, or some of you are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is what I meant to say, but it's not what came out of my mouth, is it? Let me know in the comments section, water or air. And here we've got the page of wands. I think you're gonna be feeling a little bit frisky. I think you're gonna be feeling a little bit and that's nice. Enjoy it, you know, maybe do a bit of dancing when you're doing the washing up, or if you have a significant other, it might be time for some Netflix and chill. You know what I'm saying? Does anybody even say that anymore? I'm probably like, on one of my other videos, and I can't even remember which one it was, I said, be cool like the Fonz. I know. How bad is that? It makes me about 93. I know some days I wake up and I feel 93, but for God's sake, I don't need to build on it. Let's have some love cards for you. Nice. Yes. Psst. Okay, this is nice, people. Okay, in the middle we got chemistry. Let's just whoop down on these. We got chemistry and that's your page of wands, okay? If you meet someone right now, and I think it's a good time for people to be meeting someone, not necessarily for the long term, but hey, we're here for a good time, not a long time, as they say. Um, there's a strong attraction, okay? For some of you, there's already a strong attraction and you need to work out what's the good part and what's the part you need to leave behind. Don't be afraid if you're looking for a higher level of commitment. Okay, this makes total sense and it can be yours. Ten of Cups is a higher level of commitment and it is safe for you to love, Taurus. Okay, safe for you to love. Leave me a comment. Let me know how that... I can't speak. Leave me a comment. Let me know how that resonates. Sign up for my newsletter and I will see you soon. Namaste.